Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, I guess. <laughs> wow, I am awkward. My name is Athena. I put out new videos on Thursdays and every other Monday. Today's video, I'm going to finally be doing my year update on my conch piercing right in there. I have had it for probably like a year and a month or so. I have a video when I got it pierced, so I will link that here. I also have a video showing how I clean it. I will put that here as well. Um, I'll kind of run through all of that in this video as well, but if you want to know like pain-wise, how much it cost, the actual like process of like the dotting and the piercing and all that nonsense not nonsense informative stuff again i would recommend those instead of this this is just going to be an update on the year and kind of like how it is what's up with it whatever first i'll kind of just touch on how it is day to day day to day it's fine i will say that it is still a piercing that gets crusty. It is still a piercing that hurts if it gets knocked. It's still a piercing that is tender and sore if I sleep on it. Um, so those are things to still consider. I soak it probably like every two weeks. I give it a little spray of like cleaning front and back, just like that maybe i don't know once or twice a week again i will go through exactly what i use for those but like the very first thing that i want to say again is like it still hurts it still gets crusty after a year i think that's like key main i definitely don't regret it i want to get more piercings in my ears i want to get one more on this side and maybe like one or two on this ear as well um i definitely see myself doing this ear first i don't think it really makes sense like if this one still is not annoying then why would i move to this one that i won't be able to sleep on both sides so i might as well just finish this ear and then work on this ear i still have the original bar that i was pierced with and i think and i've mentioned this before i think this is part of the reason why it hurts a bit sometimes is because the bar is long like I've pushed it all the way forward and again it's quite long so they use a longer bar when you're getting pierced of course for swelling and things like that I was supposed to go back I could have gone back like a month after I got it done to get a smaller shorter bar put in i definitely think even to this day i still think that would help a bit do i think it would totally take it away like the soreness sometimes when i sleep on it no but i think because it's so long i definitely feel like the best is what i do when i sleep because i push the bar all the way forward just like it is now so if it's pushed all the way back and I sleep on it and stuff, like it just gets more sore than when it's pushed all the way forward. So I definitely feel like a shorter bar would be like nice. The reason why I haven't done that is because I live an hour away from where I got it pierced. Yes, I can technically go to any piercing place around me, but the problem is, is the jewel that I chose is Swarovski Crystal. So it costed me like a hundred bucks for example so if i go and get it changed at any other piercing place they're probably going to charge me to buy a different jewel when i don't want a different jewel if they just want to charge me a five ten fifteen bucks to change the bar then that's some, then i'll do that that's fine um maybe i should look into that probably that would be a good idea but i just haven't done that yet um it's just kind of in like a weird awkward area where like it doesn't heal all that well or it takes a long time to heal my belly button for example took two years to heal that could have just been the place i went to my caring of it whatever but this because you sleep on it i have one of these pillows so I like put my ear kind of like in the hole area. I do that sometimes like if it's kind of acting up and bothering me, but the problem that I don't like about doing that is I use this on my pillow already. So I'm like extra elevated, then my neck gets sore, 
so it's just like a thing. Um, I definitely would still recommend the piercing, I really like it, but it's a pain in my ass. Is it like a total crazy like, oh my god, I never should have gotten this? Absolutely not. As long as I, I soak it and I spray it, like it's fine. Um, but yeah, sometimes I have to soak it for 5-10 minutes, sometimes um, two days in a row because it gets that crusty. In the shower, when you're showering, is not enough. Um, the water isn't constantly hitting the piercing, softening the crust. Sounds disgusting, I know, I'm sorry, but this is what it is. <laughs> or like, of course, like even when I touch my ear a little bit, like my ear gets red, like we're compared to this one, like it's... Really cute and shit, but yeah, it's something where like it still takes like maintenance and whatnot. What I use on my piercing, I have another spray somewhere, I cannot find it, I tried looking for it. Um, that spray I got from when I got my ear pierced. I've also used H2 Ocean. I also have this from, where did I get this from? I think I got this, maybe my belly button? I'm not sure. Um, this is Simple Care Piercing Aftercare. Um, I also, this is what I use for my soaks. So when it came to cleaning um, the piercing, it was pretty much all just like spraying and stuff. But the only problem that I find with spraying is like my piercing, when I got pierced, mine bled. So I was probably like disgusting and crusty for like two days. The only way to get rid of the crust for me is soaking the piercing. Spraying does not soften the crust. Um, it just kind of like cleans it. It's kind of like antibacterial, you already know, blah, blah, blah. But like soaking the piercing in like warm water with the salt solution for like five to 10 minutes, that's when it actually softens. I get a Q-tip, I kind of like go around. Sometimes if it's so crusty, I have to do it two days or three days in a row. Like it all just depends. Um, also, when it comes to the crust, it can crust on the back and on the inside as well. So for cleaning like the soaks, this is the Recovery 100% Dead Sea Salt Piercing Rinse. Leave me comments down below of questions that I did not answer that you're interested in. Again, if it's like price or pain or anything like that, I will link my first video. Day to day, I don't remember that I have it. It's not something that I'm like, oh yeah, piercing because it hurts so bad. I feel it more on like a weekly basis or sometimes when people hug me and like our heads are like this and they really press and I'm like, ow, ow, ow. I definitely recommend the piercing if you're interested in getting it, just get it, bitch. Like who even cares? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles!